Yo, Sonny! What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? All right, now that we get ready for the 2022 lawn mowing season, all right, which I'm out for a while this year, but that's a whole different story. Never stop upgrading your stuff, or if you could find used equipment in pretty much excellent condition like these two here, I picked up the Red Max G 20 LS and the uh, GZ 23N hedge trimmer. All right, these two were in excellent condition as you can see. It came together. The uh, person even had the bags. I mean, you got the goggles, you got the wrenches, everything you needed, the original paperwork. This is what you want to buy if you're going to buy used equipment. You want to buy it from people that hardly ever use it and they take care of it. I mean, these two pieces of equipment are, it's a, it's a good score. Um, I figured I'd throw a video out there. You know, a lot better than your Home Depot, the uh, Echo, you know, the Home Cheapo stuff. Listen, I've used that stuff for many, many years and I'll probably use it in the future. But if you can get your hands on some quality stuff, if you're running a business or you're just starting off, look for uh, look for the stuff that's quality. It'll last you longer. All right, but that's it. Let's let's give these things a shot and see what they're see what they're all about. What I like to do if I'm going to buy stuff, obviously you want to look it over. You want to try to start it, run it before you take it home. Um, I actually knew the person selling these, so I knew the way this person was and how he took care of his stuff. So it was a no brainer. As soon as I knew they were on the market, they were scooped up in a few seconds. All right, everything runs well. The filters here, I mean, I checked them all. I mean, it's, it's like you hardly ever use this stuff. Everything is clean, starts right up. Again, it comes with all the original paperwork. That's a good sign if you're buying used equipment. And if the person you're buying it from had a smaller business and they're not doing a lot of work, you know, they're not beating their stuff up. Let's take a look at this one here. This one's not bad at all. I mean, it's clean. There's nothing in here. Again, they start up no problem. Red Max, if you're not familiar with their brands, they, they have a, it's a quality brand. They make uh, good backpack blowers. I have one of those also. But yeah, I thought I'd share this to uh, my subscribers and let them know. You can find this stuff on Facebook Marketplace. Um, I'm going to go through it. You can see it's a little dirty down in there. i got nothing else to do. I'm going to spray it all down, clean it up. And then what we'll do is we'll take this cover off today. It's been on all season. And we're going to replace those old uh, Husqvarna and whatever I got underneath. And we're going to throw these on the rack and see what they look like. But yeah, Red Max, good brand. If you're looking to uh, get yourself a weed whacker um, or a hedge trimmer, look for it if you could find it. Uh, you know, the, 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 what do you call it? The Husqvarna's and the uh, Echo's, they're good brands. I even have an Echo chainsaw. But if you can get yourself these at a good price, because these you normally will you'll you only find these in a commercial dealership. You're never gonna find this at a Home Depot or a Lowe's. These really do last. They take a beating. Alright, so let's get this cover off and uh we'll put it on the rack and see what we got. Right, Sonny? Alright, well this is the first time we've had the cover off this year. Um I've had it tarped all winter. I don't have a storage facility for this right now. We're going to work on that maybe this year. But yeah, that's a little different video. So let's see what we got. This is the old one. This is, I'll tell you what, I beat the living heck out of this for about three years, four years. It's even got a bent shaft, but it did the job. Um, here's the mower here. Let's see if we can get this, see if the battery's dead or not. Let's see if we can do this here. Hold on. Put the choke up. Let it idle for a while, let it warm up, and I'll check the oil. 
glad that started right up with not a problem here we got the other uh, red max i was talking about the backpack and i got one of my first red maxes the uh 7001 if you guys know this is a this one is a beast it's just as strong as this guy here and this is the 8050 this has the admissions thing on it which i'm not wild about it does work it's strong but uh the 7000 one i'll tell you what i think can give it a run for its money yeah so right now i'm not doing uh, lawn maintenance this year i figured i'd just take the cover off and make sure everything is uh working everything is at uh you know, maintain properly and uh, when I get better and things are all finished hopefully in the fall I can do some leaf cleanups if not it'll be in the spring but uh you want to maintain your equipment everybody knows that so yeah we're gonna take this off or I'm gonna take this off the rack and uh, we're gonna put the new uh, the new ones on here if you're interested in us in this particular rack I bought it on Amazon it comes with locks it's not a bad rack bolted down it's pretty secure it's lasted me uh half of last season without a problem and uh, i'll put a link in the description below on a few things uh, in this video if you're interested um you know that, that'll be it so let me take this uh, husky barn off and if you have old equipment like this and it still works put it in uh put it on the marketplace for free if somebody's starting a business and they really are limited with funds you know it'll help them out and then this way they'll pass on whatever they have used in the future to the next person it's always a good idea to help somebody else out all right let's take this off and we'll hook up the new uh the new the uh the two new tools well here we go i got it hooked up um i'm gonna see if they have and i'm sure they do have a hedge trimmer type rack but right now it's in here it's not going out it's not coming out and it is locked in over here it's kind of tight it's not bending the uh, shaft or anything and then we have the uh, trimmer at the bottom it looks good it's a nice set to complete here all right you want to start a lawn business if you watch my videos I purchased all this stuff basically on Facebook marketplace and it took me time to find you know good equipment that was like almost brand new and it takes time um, if you want to go out and spend top dollar go ahead but make sure you have the work to back it up but yeah quick video on the uh, purchase of the uh, trimmer and the hedge trimmer I'm happy with it and I'm looking forward to uh, getting back on the road all right comment below let me know what you guys are uh, using what kind of trimmers weed whackers lawnmowers trailers i'm curious to know what other people are using out there right, we'll catch you on the next one thanks for watching oh another purchase last year i know a lot of people don't use them but cones are important got this little cone rack uh, like 15 bucks on amazon bolted to the trailer and you just throw them on there put them out when you're doing a job just so, uh, just in a little bit uh, more safety when you're on the road. All right, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Share the video with friends that are starting a new uh, lawn business. And uh, don't forget to hit that bell for uh, future notifications. When I shoot out another video, you'll be able to watch it instantaneously. All right, what do we got to do now? Yo, Sonny, where are you, son? Sonny, where'd he go? There he is. Sonny, what are you doing? Stay away from that trimmer for some reason. He likes to chew the end of the uh, trimmer, the guard. I don't know what it is with this dog. All right, we'll catch you on the next one. Yes, yeah, Sonny. <laughs>